doing a quick um, last minute packaging of a couple of orders because they just came through like last week so we're going to be packaging them like this we me <laughs> and uh, I think they're super cute there's one of the stickers that oops that people will get in the package um, some stamps some washi tape to keep it all safe and some more stamps and then this little what's it called moomin I have this moomin stamp washi tape thing sticker thing <laughs> really descriptive thank you i haven't had my coffee yet so that's probably why uh yeah and then i'm just gonna package a couple more and then we should be good to go on our way to the post office today at lunchtime and i've also got some comics uh emily is burning comics to package too So I got from the post office this, uh, you might have heard of them, um, How to Think Wash You Draw and this was a Kickstarter that I backed a while ago and they've come through, it's really cool, um, just explains how to kind of draw like random stuff, I think it's really good for inspiration. I also got um, How to Think Wash You Write when I I might read this and then go over my um, my horror comics anthology and then see what I think and then I've also got this the other two ones other two ones what am I saying I've got other ones here so that's volume three and I got volume one and volume two and I think these are gonna be really handy for me and Chris I also got some stick on nails because I haven't really had my nail I used to get my nails done like quite often because it's just something I enjoy having done but obviously with COVID it was a bit I don't know a bit of a strange one to want to have done like sit there with a mask on for ages and yeah anyway so I bought some really cool designs to like have over Christmas and I think that will be really fun anyway uh, back to the drawing stuff that's important and uh, yeah I got this think whilst you draw volume 2 so I ordered these or I backed this probably like in April and I ordered these like way early in October so they took ages to come I think Covid's kind of making everything really slow so if stuff's being delivered for me slowly I apologize but I think it's just 2020 Covid postage kind of things yeah anyway. Hello! 
is now the afternoon and I'm working on some comic panels for my new comic and I'm pretty, pretty much liking these. These are, these are kind of just experiments at the moment. I'm not sure if they're going to be like the final stuff or whatever. I'm just having fun with it. Um, so this is the original and then I scanned it in and um, photocopied it, I mean. And I'm going to do some stuff on top so just to like experiment a little bit more. I added some more colour details to this one and I'm going to add some more like little bits and bobs and then I'll have the original here so I can just experiment to my heart's content and not be worried about like ruining it or whatever. I also went to town today and I got these from this um we have the Gibraltar Heritage Trust shop and they had these um cards for sale for like three pounds for a load of different cards with loads of really nice prints on them like original not original but like really nice older prints of Gibraltar like paintings and stuff and I thought they were really nice. Uh, Gibraltar's where I live, by the way. And like, this is inside the caves. Um, the Rock of Gibraltar during the World War Two. They, uh, the army made loads of tunnels throughout the rock, so it's like riddled with these caves, um, human-made. I don't know about this one, but it's really cool. So you know, it's it's there's an interesting fact for you. So this is Gibraltar, and back in probably nineteen. Oh no, 1839. It's really interesting to see how they would have viewed it back then. Because now it's like covered in buildings and different things. And this is a picture of Morocco in the distance. And Europa Point, like a cave. And this one is like my least favourite because it looks a bit too much like a photo, but it's kind of cool as well. Um, this is from 1970s, so that's why I think it's not as old. But yeah, I've got another pack there, I'm going to go through. But I just thought they were really nice and they help the Heritage Trust. So I was like definitely buying some of these, they're really cool. And I was thinking like maybe I can put them up in a Christmas kind of style somehow. Not sure yet, but yeah, I really like them. So my nails, I did the fake nails and I'm still not sure if I like them totally. I think they look make my nail beds look a bit wider. But yeah, and they're a bit zany. But yeah, they're kind of cool. I like the gradient a lot. But yeah, that's it. Okay, so here's the original. And then here's me doing some like experimental things to it. Uh, let me put it side by side for you. And uh, yeah, I think the... Oh, the second one has a lot more depth. Mm, I like, I prefer the bottom room to that one, but uh, the house I think I prefer the first one, but I like the smoke out the chimney, so, and some of the shading. So I think I'm going to apply that to the original and then apply this room, that the stuff that I like that I did to this room here. Yeah, those, those might be the first, first panel of my horror comic and uh, second panel sort of maybe uh, I'm, I'm excited so let me just show you the thumbnails for this one this is going to be the first one in the book because um, there's going to be a few of them I think and so this is there's going to be a pattern then this page with this house um, might make redo it and do like a full page of it or just extend the top somehow and then put the title here and then the next page is going to be the room interior so that's going to be this one and then some uh, like cutlery or something to indicate the time and then maybe some horses or something like just um, setting the scene a little bit and then we finally see our first character who's going to be like a little girl and she's going to be playing dress up and basically then told to go and change because she's got a bad outfit on. So those, those are like the first three pages and uh, obviously if you're reading it, it will be quite quick to like, you know, understand it. But um, this is the comic where I'm going to have no talking in it and I'm just going to have like stuff going on and you have to, um, or I have to indicate what's happening in the story by just showing and literally having no talking so 
it's going to be quite difficult to do but I'm excited to try and express that a little bit so let's see It is Saturday morning and I've just been going through some of the stuff that I did after work this week. Um, obviously I showed you guys these panels and I was sort of working on the style a little bit more. I did this for the teapot uh, panel and I'm not really sure that I like it so much so I'm going to keep experimenting with styles a little bit longer. Um, this is my recent sticker but I did this with uh, my... Windsor and Newton pens and then also some pencils on top and I really liked the way that it looked. Um, I started experimenting with ink this past week because um, I miss using like ink as well so I'm not sure if I want to go down this route but I was doing a lot of faces as well like trying to draw some of the women characters that will be in this. I also had an idea to do a diving story for one of the short horror stories but I can't quite get the idea of what the whole story would be in my head yet so I'm not sure if this one's going to be included you know I just I, I would like to draw a lot of people diving around the ocean and then scary things happening but I can't quite get a reason I can't quite get a reason for it or like an ending for it to be honest so just doodling and trying to find a style that would fit. I quite like this with the ink and then the um, brush markers and then I also used some um, ink in the background and I quite like this. I really like this drawing and then I went over it with some blue ink and I don't like it as much as it, I did. I also saw some like um, Korean tigers. I don't know if you guys have seen those old paintings of like Korean tigers and I thought it'd make a really cool print to try and do something like that so these are my terrible sketches of trying to do something and yeah so I'm just trying to figure out a style basically which is usually quite the fun part so I mean I, I do think I will be going with this style which is similar to the Emily is burning style so because I quite like it and also I can build on this so you know it doesn't have to be quite the same it's a little bit like of a wonky style purposely and I don't know if that comes across um, as it is intentional but yeah um, I think this is the style I'm gonna go with so what do you guys think let me know um, just been doing a lot of different stuff in this book really so I'm trying to just get it down and then I think if this is the style then I'm good to, uh yeah I think I'm gonna go with this style and uh I think I'm gonna end the vlog there but yeah it's been a it's been a productive week um I did hear about my job but I'm reluctant to say because there's lots of people who haven't heard and I don't know who watches my vlogs and stuff so I don't want to like say but um yeah uh sorry for that <laughs> <laughs> like the hint of my news um i think you can tell by my voice maybe what the news is but yeah i don't really want to give it away i will next week though because apparently we we know and uh if you want to know uh maybe i'll talk to you down in the comments <laughs> i'm really paranoid even though somebody could just go and look in the comments but yeah anyway that's it i'm gonna carry on watching some stuff and doodling away and having my coffee this saturday morning and uh Pastel there, and uh, yeah, that's it. That's it from me for this Saturday. Um, please give me a like and subscribe if you like this video. Next week, I'm going to be doing a more challenging video, not a vlog. I hope that you like this mixture of vlogs and uh, different art videos. I hope that you enjoy it. Anyway, uh, yeah, bye.